Yo, what's good, y'all? Today I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be showcasing the best speed or rank car build in existence. And before we get into that, I'd just quickly like to ask you guys to like and subscribe because only like 2% of you guys are subscribed right now. It's free and it helps out the channel a lot. We're almost at, or we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers, and I can get, I can get content creator after I do reach that. And I'll also be giving away a bunch of items when I do reach 5k. And if you want to take part in that, subscribe, join my Discord, and all the jazz. And what I'm running on this build is yet Dimensional Shard, 65 speed, Black Claw, Flash Fang. I would like Serum W, but that shit is so overpriced, I couldn't even fathom getting it. But the few combos you can do on here, which, which you don't know about Yamato, by the way. I don't know if they're popping back there. Pretty much, if you crit someone... Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, so... If you crit someone and then quickly turn around, they get actually ragdolled there and you can just continue a combo like that. There's also the combo that if you like crit them like this and then dash forward and flat. What the fuck? Okay. Weird. Basically, that there's also just unseen blade, which is really good. You can do that. You can also time cut afterwards. You can mix up with black or, or yeah, blade zero. And spe you can Spectre Step, and because of the speed, you can faint and just hit them before they hit you, unless they also have Yamato. And as I said, you can crit, do that, and then Flash Fang like that. They pr then they actually do get crippled in their Flash Step. I get to go soon. That's fine. I'm done. Joke. Acing. Very gang. And I'll be showcasing this build in rank now. I am pretty rusty. I haven't played for like a week and a half, but... This build is actually pretty strong and it should make up for my lack of playing the game a lot. So I'll be doing like 3-4 ranked matches. I am low ranked, but you'll be able to see the disgusting like... Also, yeah, I do have battery in stock because they are the best ones. Tempest is good on Kendo, but it's not good on speed. It's way too slow in my opinion. So let's get into some ranked matches. Alright, we got ourselves a match right here. Seems this guy's using a great sword. I have no idea what else. Basically, how this build works is you want to like get them to bait out as much as possible, like that. Hit them with that, and then just time is like you gotta time it. The M ones on this build are really good, so even if they faint this, you can pretty much just spam M ones. They won't be able to do much. And you also have some range options like Blade Zero because on speed, like speed sixty five speed, bro, Blade Zero is really good. You have engages. Okay. Basically, do that, and then paint, and then you can do that. He has hyper armor, though, so. So basically, like, pile on the pressure like that, as you see, as you saw. Basically, you're, that's your goal, pretty much, with this build. Pile on as much pressure as humanly possible so they don't get away from you. Like that. And of course, you can land your combos as well. And if they if they spectre step you or anything like that, you can use waterfall. And as, as I said, you have very good range options. You can you can also time cut to close the distance. And then I'm a faint this time. Okay. Who has like 400 fucking hyper armor moves, bro? Of course they would run. How did he even move? Just M1 him. As you see, I don't even know how he's hitting me, to be honest. Okay. And then you can just M1 them, hit them with that, hit them with that. As you can see, it has pretty decent combos as well. And that's pretty much your entire goal. Hit them with one move, and then you can just move into everything else. And even if they try to dash away from you, you have stock to just keep after them. And same with battery. Like, you can pretty much just keep after them with no issues. And yeah, that's pretty much the goal of this build. Keep up pressure, build up pressure, make sure they get, like, cooked. And if they do step away from you, you have two very good ranged attacks that you can just rely on, so... Both work. Alright, we're back with another match. And I'd just like to say that this build does benefit from having better ping. Much like any other build, really. And your entire goal, as I said, is to just get them into a position where you can crit them. Or just continue to, like, M1 them. Your M1s will be your 
pretty much your biggest ally in this mode. Also, you want to just start off with ranged moves at the start of the matches like this. Just pretty much bait them. I don't know what he's doing. But your goal should be to just M1 like this if they try to step away. Keep up the pressure, keep up the pressure. If they try to move in on you, you can use waterfall like I just did. Or you can time cut into like their waterfalls. Any anything that has like a uncancelable motion, you can just time cut and you should be able to land it pretty well. Thought he would dash into me there though. Basically, if they try to move away from him like that, you can just apply pressure with that. When you spectra step, by the way, keep this. If I if you faint and then M1, you will literally outspeed anyone when you're using Yamato because Yamato's M1 speed is just that good. They'll try to move in on me right here. You can use Waterfall, counter that, M1, and yeah, pretty much just that. Like, look. Just to move away from me, I can just keep the pressure up on him. And that's the idea of this build. Just pretty good pressure. What is he, What is this guy's build? You can black like black law like that. You can just kind of kind of the gist of this build is to be unpredictable, pretty much. Like as I and it's pretty fast. You can do like that thing. I kind of fucked it up, but you can pretty much turn around like I did in the intro, and that works as well. You can hit him with this. Uh, my fast bang wasn't up for some reason. You can use that as an iframe move. I don't know what he's doing. Look, he tries to move away from you. Okay, I missed that, but. They try to, if they try to move away, okay, I'm weak. Try to move away? Okay, I didn't. What? Where did it go? Where did my stock go? Yeah. Take advantage of like pops if you. Wait, oh fuck! Oh, they changed that. That's our last spin here. You can also like do that, and then the second they move away, do that, do that. They try to move away, keep up on them again, and then you can just since they can't move, do that. As I, as you saw. Basically, yeah, the the better your ping is, the better this build will work. As you can see, I'm like averaging like a hundred plus. Oh, that's actually a very good server. But yeah, I'm averaging like a hundred plus on nor like usually. This is a pretty decent server, so I was able to actually find a decent com like a few combos. But as I as I said, the lower your ping, the better this build will work. Your goal is just keep up the pressure on them. The second they move away, use a move that chases them, like stalker battery. And you can also Spectre step them, and if you faint it, they pretty much just outspeed them. Unless they also have Yamato, because Yamato's M1 speed is crazy. You'll pretty much be able to hit them and just follow up with another move, unless they parry you, which is always also possible. Alright, I'm finally back in another match after like a fucking year of trying to get in, because the game kept kicking me. But there's a few things that you do need to watch out for in the cases that I'm fighting here, for example. You need to watch out for their um, hyper armor as much as you can. Okay, I'm cooking myself here. Okay, he's trying to move away from you. Look, you can just range move them. Make sure they know they can't keep away from you. And that way, they actually won't keep away from you. Or at least shouldn't. Some people are still stupid enough to. He's trying to end... Okay, what the fuck was that? Am I lagging? No, I'm not. Basically, if you do this, and he doesn't block... Look. Yeah, he walked away. I got wolfed, but... Like, you can do this, and then they try to move away from you. You can... Okay. You can follow up with this. Okay, he's still... What in the... Okay, he's doing the lagging really bad. He's just walking through M1s and everything like that. You can just do that. They try to move away, you can move that. You can move with that. As I said, that also works. Okay, this dude is mad laggy, yo. Yeah, you're, yeah, this dude is extremely laggy, so it's not really a... Gr it's not the greatest showcase, but... Basically, we can move with that, and... Yeah, pretty much that. He would have hit me there, but I did end up killing him. That's what you need to watch out for. Watch out for hyper armor moves when you use Spectre Step. You don't want to get caught in them. Hyper armor moves will be your worst nightmare, and I know I'm in bronze, and... I don't know. I can't really find many matches to grind, and every time I fucking win a match... Watch this, hold on. I'll actually show you. This is actually crazy. If I go back to rank lobby, right? <laughs> I load in, right? I'll watch this real quick. It's some bullshit right here. Every time I, 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 I unload from a match and I try to get back in, it gets here, right? And it's just stuck here for like a good 
10 minutes. It doesn't do anything. And I have to rejoin each time. And then nobody's queuing. And it's just a whole fucking mess. I keep, I keep finding, like, horrible fucking players, too. I barely was able to find these three matches that I showed you. So other people just run away and don't even try to hit me. They kind of just fire off into space and then hope for the best. But as you can see, it's extremely annoying. I would have done more matches personally, but this is getting extremely annoying. So I'll just end it here. As I said, pile on as much pressure as you can. If you see that the opponent is trying to dash away, stalk after them or battery after them. Apply pressure as much as you can. Utilize that M1 as much as you can as well. And at the start of the uh, match, as I or start of the uh, video, I also showed you how to utilize the crit well. For me, my ping is extremely horrible, so that's so that's harder to do. But for people with lower ping, the input will be like actually re registered quicker. So you might be able to turn around a little later than me. In my case, I have to hit it as I'm turning, so it's a little difficult. But yeah. Hopefully y'all hopefully y'all y'all enjoyed this video. This build is actually pretty cracked. And if you get Serum W, I can't personally. It's extremely far to get, but yeah. You you already have seen this build is pretty nasty. Like st Storm it's in and of itself is pretty much the best res right now. Yamato is a very good weapon, so com them combined is just a good very uh good in and of itself. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Don't ask me what the fucking stats are. Go back to the Starboard Frost Lap you.